Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the night that will change the name of the game when it comes to the women's division. Welcome to Women's Wrestling's Revolution. And our first opening contest features one of the two most notorious duo in the entire locker room. Jamie Hayter alongside her best pal, Pollyanna. So much history between these two as a whole, as a unit in general. The fact that these two are actually allowed to actually be together at the same time just means that her opponent is going to have more than she bargained for. And especially on a night that I will point out again will change the entire perspective not only the ladies division but the entire locker room in general here in GWF. her opponent, Laura Wellings. She's heading into war, knowing full fact that she is not a one of the advantage today. Right now, in a night that will change everything in her battlefield, tonight is going to be a quite a huge obstacle. Not only does she have the content with Jamie Hayter, again, one of the most, if not the most ruthless competitor in this division, but the fact that beside her, is Pollyanna, one of the most notorious individuals in the entirety of women's wrestling in general? You can have all the talent in the world, but the fact is, if you have eyes in the back of your head, there's only so much you can do. But I believe, I believe in this sweetheart, I believe that she's the one that can start off this revolutionary night with a huge upset and with a huge bang. reactions for these two competitors tonight and Jamie Hayden not even having any of it from her own supporters I let answer my question yeah she doesn't even want someone to even cheer her man she's gonna kill her get you boy restrain her for god's sake we haven't even started this night off and already Jamie Hayter's actually playing with the crowd. Or trolling, whatever the case may be. She does feel like her opponent is in the ring. I think she does know, I think the point of all of this is just playing all mind games. And you know what? The tracker speaks for itself. This might actually work, especially on Laura. Because as much as I love Laura, her one weakness is that she's naive. Look, see what I mean? She extends her hand. And look what she got for a shot and a push right back on the ropes and in the corner once again by Jamie. Oh! Naive or not, a slap. Oh, uh, that'll change one's perspective. And a close line on the right of your brain, followed up by another one. And now Laura, see that what I'm trying to hold right into the middle of the road. Uh, look, see what I'm talking about from earlier. No one does she have compete. Jamie, but those are Pollyanna. Right there from the ring side. And right there, a hip attack right on Jamie's face. Pollyanna's so called interference has not paced her one bit so far. Laura, if she can keep this up, if she can keep the momentum right in her favor, she will have all this in the bag. And she will be the first ever winner of Women's Wrestling Revolution in general here in Germany. Oh, wait a minute! And Pollyanna! Pollyanna barely faced Laura as Laura dies with the crossbody. Nice hater. Only manages to get a one count. That's a bit of a surprise of a shocker. And right there, back to the hog. Yeah, because you know, hogs get you plenty of strength. Yeah, she only went there for a hog, not for a breeder. Yeah. What the hell is she removing her coat for? What? 
Poliana, you know, it's only been barely like, what, two minutes into the match? And we've seen plenty of dirty tricks pulled by these duo. Look at again, behind Jalora! Poliana, setting it up for a Samoan drop! And the ref did not even notice! Oh, come on! Did freaking Laura bump by herself? You take you more on only on one count! The heart of Laura! Can you compare to a heart of a lion in this day of the age? As Jamie shoves her right in the corner and stomps her right in the back. Right on the spine. Which well, is actually very good thinking because again, that Samoan drop, that's where it landed. Right in the joint. And once again, the crowd split when it comes to reactions between these two gladiators. Combination, knee into a bulldog. And followed up with another ball drop in the back of the neck. And to the cover. Again, brilliant two count. Lord not only hanging on, but kicking out with tenacity. And she's making a combat, but he's attempting to. As Jamie shoves her right back with a boot. Now seeing her out with a chin lock. Trapping her right in the middle of the ring. Laura, whatever she needs to do, she needs to breathe in and breathe out. No matter how much she squeezes in, she needs to find a way to take in as much breath as possible. Because in this situation right now, if she collapses, it's over. No matter what she does, she cannot escape without air. And I think she's listening to me. Taking her elbow shot right in the abdomen. Laura with an arm breaker using her position to her advantage. She's got it up for a schoolgirl. One, two. She's got a two. And that shows you something. The fact that she only had one move, gained up one and only got a two count. My hair only managed to get a one count so far. Just proves the amount of heart. The difference between the two, I should say. Two, and now. Now we're in the danger zone right now for Laura. Laura is on the verge of getting pinned as she has reached the two count. The tenacity is slowly shifting away. The energy, the energy is being removed. Slowly but surely by Hayden. Now trapping her in the corner. With shots after shots, with boot after boot. Jamie needs to stop toying around and actually get into work. She needs to do what she does best, and that is get in there, pound her like a freaking madman, and actually finish her once and for all. Right now, she's slowly biting her time, slowly devastating her one step at a time. Literally, I should say. She's stepping on her face. And Pollyanna, again, the mind games. Not only is Laura trapped in the corner, but look, she has to go bail with Ray Pollyanna's antics. And the referee now is trying to restrain her. And finally, the referee makes the final choice. For goodness, it's about time. Pollyanna's out here after what? Okay, Four attacks? Four attacks? And it's official. Pollyanna's out of here. Pauliana like I said, four attacks for arena. assaults on poor Laura. But again, I think the four assaults might have been enough. And she goes for the cover and a kick out of two by Laura. And you can tell right there. Hater did not hesitate. She did not even wait. She did not even look around and talk to herself. What she needs to do, she went in there and shot Laura with a freaking cannonball right in the corner. But Laura, like I said, with a heart of a lion, has not given Hater an inch. Now that Pollyanna's gone, Hater is all alone. And Laura can focus 100% on her opponent. With our drop kick. Setting Hater up one more time with a boot. And now into a neck breaker. Is this enough? Two, no. Love her. 
Or a hater. <laughs> Lover, hater, hater. <laughs> you see what I did? High five! High five! But back to my point. Love or hate hater. She has heart as well. And now forearm battle after forearm shot. These two wanna do whatever it takes to be the one, the first victor in women's wrestling revolution. Now Laura, it's got for another, the Northern light, and she hits it. One, two, it's over. Laura has made history. Qualifiziert fürs Finale im Women's Wrestling Revolution Tournament aus der Schweiz, Laura Willings. Wellings has marked her own destiny as being the first girl. No! And Jamie Hayner does not like this outcome one bit. And that's just me being Captain Obvious. But it doesn't change the fact that Wellings is the first victor in Women's Wrestling's revolution. And Jamie has lived with that for the rest of her career. What a monumental night for this young woman, Laura Wellings. Tonight features one of the most tenacious individuals in the women's wrestling revolution today, Audrey Bright. But her opponent is quite possibly the demon of the entire division tonight. Audrey, she is one top competitor. She is also a very, very likable individual. However, there is only so far that being liked will take you in the middle of the squirt circle. She needs to find the world within herself. She needs to find the battle armor within her heart to actually compete with the monster she's about to face in the ring right now. The legend herself, the freaking beast, Sweet Soraya. Her track record, not only is it long, it's filled with blood, dude. She has done so much damage. She has ended potentially so many careers. And the, you know what's the scary point? She loved every second of it. Title after title has been strapped around her waist. But I promise you, each and every single one of those championships have been gifted, have been sacrificed with blood. And I think for Audrey, right now, she's on the next of the hit list. A sacrificial lamp, as sweet Saraya is aiming down her parade. But Pride, I don't think she's gonna be that easy to take down. Listen just one second. I don't care if you can speak English or not. I do not need your applause. I don't need your clapping, your cheering. I'm here to do a job and I'm going to massacre the bitch there. Oh boy. You don't stand a chance against me and everyone in this room knows it. So I'm going to enjoy this little game, princess and I'm gonna rip your hair out your head, I'm gonna gouge your eyes out, and I'm gonna kick you 
in places that you never knew existed. Get up in my face, do it. I dare you. Because I tell you something, Blossom. I'm here to earn my wage. I'm here to win this tournament. And I'm here to compete against Vesna. You are the only thing in my way. You won't be in my way for long. That is a freaking statement, if I ever heard one. And it's coming from the demon herself. And usually when a demon freaking predicts something, it happens. Especially if it's done by her freaking vicious hands. And look, Audrey, being naive, which she shouldn't be against this monster. And now Soraya take make about the quick work. As she tosses her right from pillar to pillar, post to post. And look at that, just viciously, viciously waiting on Audrey. And again, tossing her from one side of the ring to the other. In the most wicked of ways. Now she's, I don't know what the hell she's doing in the corner. She's probably chilling her, but Audrey valiantly retaliates. But I think that doesn't help. I think that might have, I think that might have angered Soraya. Audrey. Audrey, she needs to put her head in the game. That's what I'm talking about. Just tossing her left back and forth. Mind game after mind game is what she needs to work on. Toss after toss. Again, giving giving sweet Soraya a sweet taste of her own medicine. See what I did there? But Soraya, not backing out. <laughs> Trust me, I'm being Mr. Freaking Obvious right now. What I say, she's not gonna back out. Oh boy. Soraya thinks she was about to eat that man. And now, taking her time. She knows what she's doing after all, but oh, maybe not. Audrey has taken a Soraya right by her hair. Oh! And a hot shot right to the top rope. Stunning Audrey into the cover. Results only in a two count. But not letting Audrey have a chance to recuperate as she wails her back down right in the middle of the ring. And now again, grasping her right within the hair. Irish whip, reversal by Audrey. Ducking underneath. Oh, but Audrey. She pinpointed Saraya right where she wanted her. And now she's trying to pummel the beast right within the ground. Going right into the headlock. She needs to squeeze all she could. But Saraya, she's been in this game far too many times to not know where the hell she needs to go next. In a predicament like this, she has all the numbers in the book. Like freaking yellow pages, crossbody. One! Oh, she's got a two count already. And Soraya knows if she doesn't do something quick, she cannot underestimate her opponent tonight. Again, gouging her right back into the corner. Oh! Yeah, she definitely kicked her in places that she thought she never knew existed. Anything? I don't know. But Audrey, whether or not that's the fact, she's in pain. And that's for sure a fact. And now squeezing her traps. Her neck joints probably is making her collapse within her knees. Oh, that, and now she's officially assaulting her with freaking shins. Right in the abdomen. But Audrey, finding a life. There she fights back and escapes the hold. Followed up with a chop right in the corner. And another one. And a slap. That's Chopper Mania, but not for long. Look at that. A simple shot with the strength of Soraya. 
And now forearm shot after forearm shot. And finally that with a one shot. A simple shot. Oh! And a knee shot right in the body. With a DDT. And Saraya. And I thought it was over. Audrey. Making quite the impression tonight. She's making a statement of her own. And she's going toe to toe. Head to head. With the Scarlet Maniac herself. The Nightmare. Saraya. And again. Sweet Saraya is not being so sweet tonight. Slapping her opponent with the utmost of disrespect. Gotta know, you gotta wonder what the hell is this woman doing right now. As she says, oh, no! Audrey comes back with a boot, a kick right in the face. And another one. Uh oh, oh no! But Saraya still caught it. No, wait! Maybe it's the other way around. As Audrey scores with a tornado DDT. Into the cover. Who is the one and Barely! Barely! Barely comes up with an upset. And Soraya, man, and as quick, and as quick as she got down, she got back up. He's going for a massive sidewalk slam. Oh, wait, hold on. They're just going for a pitfall, but I think just bigger plans for a victim, not her opponent tonight. And she's strangling her with her own hair. Audrey. Audrey now is really finding out what it feels like to actually be in a freaking cage. Not a ring, a cage with an animal like Soraya. Oh, but Audrey. Cry. Come on, girl. You need to get out of this predicament in any way, shape, or form. You need to be ruthless. You need to wake up. You need to find the beast within yourself if you want to have a chance against this one right here. Man, no, that doesn't want to take the referee to look for that. She, she continues the way she's doing right now. They'll kick her out. I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference. As Sophie's being held up in a power of a position. Is she finally going to nail it? Yes, sit down, power bomb. And it's over. Sharia dispatched her opponent. Damit ebenfalls qualifiziert fürs Finale bei Women's Wrestling Revolution. Sweet Sharia. And with that phenomenal victory, she advances to the finals for the championship. And look at that! Look how vicious that is. Pink up as a little souvenir from the battle these two women have had here tonight. For her. This is all fun. Hurting people is what she loves. And claiming gold is just a bonus. In my eyes, this is our champion. This. I mean, who can stop her? You explain to me death.
und ihre Gegnerin. Just like every lady here tonight, Xia Brookside has the chance to climb up the ranks and actually become the lady champion here tonight. If she can go through Pollyanna, she will be one step closer. Hell, she would even go to the finals here tonight for that ladies' championship. But you gotta wonder one thing. I say she has a chance, but let's make it let's be a bit realistic right here. We've got Pollyanna, that means you've almost got, got Jamie Hayter with her as well. And even, even if, which is a very small if, Jamie Hayter does not do anything physical in the ring, the fact that she's out there makes it a huge mental psyche on poor Xia here tonight. So all in all, once again, I sound like a broken record. Huge advantage, massive advantage to Pollyanna. in the bar drinking this. Yeah, like she's just gonna stand there and do nothing. Yeah. Also der Referee bittet mich um eine Durchsage nach den Ereignissen im ersten Erstrundenmatch des heutigen Abends. Wir haben gesehen, was da passiert ist mit Pollyanna und Jamie Hater wird also jetzt auch Jamie Hater aufgefordert, die Halle zu verlassen. Jamie Hater must leave the arena. Well, you heard that right, folks. Very good call. Very freaking fair, as far as I can tell. Referee's decision. As per the referee's decision, as you just heard, Jamie Hader has to leave this. Not only at the ring, she has to leave the freaking arena. Trying to give her partner one less courage, one less ounce of, I think, I want to it that way, some sort of pep talk before she goes toe to toe with Brookside. Woman to woman, face to face, that's how it should be. Oh yeah, she's, she's trying to protest the decision. <laughs> Trust me, it won't go that far. Might as well exert all your energy, put all your focus on that match right now. Especially when you've got someone as talented as a Brickside as your opponent. Let, let, let's just point it out. Shh. Now, I understand that a bunch of you idiots here won't even understand half the things I'm saying. There you go. I do. Idiots. And so, I, look. I don't put it down past you that you have a huge future in heaven. But at the end of the day, I am more experienced and I have been so many better places than you have. And the thing is, I don't care who you're the daughter of because I've really only got one thing to say to you. Oh God. Freaking disrespectful as hell. But see I with an onslaught right here with retaliation. Now that's a bit of pain back there for Brookside. They're gonna need the coastline. Rebound into a beautiful flip hurricane Rana. And see, I think Boliana is a bit surprised at this new up and cover right here in Brookside. Oh hold on. And just like Polia pointed out. She has way more experience, and this is one of those. And this is one of the key factors of experience. She knows where to use the ropes, and she you knows how to use the ring in any way to her advantage. Kick reversal right there, spinning into a shovel kick right to the abdomen. Sia has got the freaking veteran in comparison in the, in the corner. And now, mounting up, Paulian in the corner. Oh, and she shoves it right away into a boat, right in the gut! Snap suplex right in the turnbuckle! 
just like that, Sia just collapses after that impactful whiplash. Big suplex on the mat is one thing, but big suplex on the metal corner. Folks, you have no idea how the hell that hurts. And now, freaking choking her right between the middle ropes. Napolia been working on the back of the neck. I should I say the neck area? I should, I, in total, on Xia. Which is a very, like it or hate it, very smart tactic on the part of Pollyanna in this situation. Just pummeling her again, once again, on the back of the neck. This is all Pollyanna's pace at this point. Setting up for another suplex. No, never mind. Into a scoop slam this time. Pinning her right in the middle of the ring. We're flashing now into a foot stomp. Hook of the leg. All resulting in barely a two count on the part of Xia Brookside. This is this reality at this point for Xia. She's in a freaking jungle. And the queen of that jungle at this point is Polya. Xia. Resilient as all hell though. Trying to give her everything she's got. Shuffling her back into the ropes. Going for a leapfrog. Almost. Oh wait a Pollyanna's got her. She's got her set. She's hooking her legs. Her arms as well. Ah, oh, she's got her with a humongous chicken wing stretch. And she's squealing the life out of her. Freaking wrecking her like a car thing accordion. Face palming her right in the middle, planting her face once again. It's not enough, though. Xia showing a lot of heart right now. That Polly, she's not gonna. She, I'm telling you right this right now. She's gonna make sure to do whatever it takes to go to the finals of the ladies' championship here tonight. But I think the only problem with her is that, as you can tell, she's way, way doing it, underestimating her opponent. She's overdoing it quite a little bit. She's got to do whatever it takes. Right there, that's what I'm talking about. Do not waste your time, Paulia. Yes, I know. That's what she does best. But at this, at this point, do not do it. This for the number one contendership for the ladies' championship. She would go on air tonight and potentially become the queen. Do not waste your time. And see it just like that takes advantage. Oh, she's got Pollyanna. Corner her, Karana. See, I could end up upsetting the veteran today. Oh, Burley. Two and a half. Just a split second away for advancing instead of Pollyanna. Yeah, if that actually happens, Pollyanna will have nightmares for months. Not days, not weeks, months. Maybe even years. I think Pollyanna's done playing games at this point. And she's setting up for a massive superplex, it seems. Uh oh. Now she's going up one rope above. And she's just going for a super duper plex at this point. I don't know if that's even a move. Hold on. Oh, but Pollyanna ducks underneath. And now she's got her at three of opposition. Pollyanna's dazed. And Pollyanna takes a shuffle kick right in the face from the three wall position. Hook on the leg. Three no ball! Holy! I thought she had it though, dude. Oh, my heart's right now. That, that nearly just. That would have been the upset, not only of the evening, but potentially of the entire year. Not taking away from Sia, but dude, in comparison to the experience of Pollyanna. Yeah, it's a one-sided match. But Brookside, I don't think that counts for her. Oh, the, oh well, well, I tell you what counts, and that's brute force by Pollyanna. Just got it, and she tosses her. Fall away slam. Now Pollyanna setting up, Say a discus coastline. And just like that, Pollyanna's gonna pick up the win. What? How? I got nothing. Heart, valiant, resiliency. That's all I got, folks. Axia's got all of that. Oh, yeah, 
Ayana. At this point, she cannot be, she cannot, she cannot afford to be frustrated. She needs to put her head back in the game and to her opponent. And look at it, just like that, she turned her back right for one second. And CS cut her up with a schoolboy of her own into a roll up. Oh, here we go. Smooth. And she did it. Und hier ist die Siegerin und damit ebenfalls fürs Finale qualifiziert aus Liverpool in England, Sayo Brookside. What? Sayo Brookside with the freaking top. And I'm just, just, just saying it mildly. He just picked the very Pollyanna. And I'm CS the one heading to the finals tonight. Sayo this rookie. Could end up big. The champion! But all this said and done! That's two and two for the duo of Jamie Hayter and Pollyanna. A negative duo, I must say. But it's one up for the one and only Xia Brookside tonight. so-called title match. Let's be real, folks. Just be serious for a second, okay? So, we, in TWF, we got ourselves a loser weight championship. Now, it's not like any other belt you've seen in sports entertainment or professional wrestling at all. This belt, whoever has the most losses, whoever has consistent losing records, will be granted the belt. And the one, and here's the point, though. The championship will be defended here tonight. But the problem or the point of this belt is that whoever is a champion, his mission is to get rid of it. So if the champion wins this match, the title goes to the loser who could be Victor Maximov here tonight. And here comes the reigning lord himself, the king of all losers. And I think he just flipped me off right there when I said that, but the point is, folks, this guy is the loser weight champion. Now, in this industry, the quote is, you either be here to be champion or you just don't, don't, come, don't even bother come here. But the, the one belt you don't want to have is the one that poor Vincenzo Cocconi has on his waist here tonight. It's a curse. It's a symbol of his failures. And he wants to get rid of it. And he wants to put it all on Victor. The man of steel himself could actually end. Could actually end up destroying the curse that has freaking taunted him throughout most of his career here tonight. And that is the loser weight title. But hey, you know what? For a so called loser weight title, that. You know what? I was about to say that the loser weight championship doesn't look that bad, but after what Vincenzo did. Ugh. Referee, I don't even want to. Ref. Make sure you, you freaking touch it. And. Yeah, there you go. Just make sure you don't touch the, those parts. There you go, folks. It is for the loser weight championship. And just like you see from Victor, nobody wants to even look at the sight of that thing. Much as what I. This is awesome! And Vincenzo is quite possibly the freaking favorite for this title match here tonight. He's the favorite in the entire locker room, I'm gonna be frank right now. 
I'm staying about this right now. This is supposed to be a women's wrestling revolution event, and we have two men fighting for a loser weight championship. I, I don't know what to say about that here tonight. And here we go, folks, right now. We're about to see the clash of titans, the clash of warriors, and the battleground is set. And the Coliseum doors are open, and the Lions themselves are about to attack each other with full force. And here we go, the mighty Vincenzo going up to immovable Victor. With the chicken wing African Vincenzo wisely going up on the ropes. Vincenzo stretching his arms, making sure that he has all his limbs working fine order if he ever wants to compete here tonight and actually lose the championship. <laughs> I think that might have just Iron Victor a little bit. Oh, wait! You know, they say that great minds think alike, but in this case. Too much alike. And here we go. Here we go. That's how fierce this battle is. The atmosphere itself forced the two competitors to pull away from each other. But Kokori. Oh, he was going for a coastline. But Victor. Oh, with a whiplash. Just chopping the leg from the king himself. Vincenzo. Now Kokori. Oh my god. Look. That's serious right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Vincenzo could actually be done right now. Yeah, serious. Now come on! And just like that, like a friggin' predator that Victor is, trying to pounce on the wooden warrior of oh, Vincenzo, but the one with the heart of a king was about to claim the victory. Oh, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Victor. Victor. I'll let the king rest. It's like chess, you know? You gotta let, the, you gotta let each other have their own pace, alright? Oh, I think, I think it's baiting the king right now. Victor is baiting Vincenzo, and Vincenzo, I think he bit it. He's up for a test of the, oh god, get ready for an earthquake, folks. Get ready for the freaking end of the world with these to collide with full force. Look at that, Vincenzo and Victor clashing and oh. This is the greatest thing to ever come out of this business. Right here, look at that! And even the referee is impressed. I'm surprised the referee is still on his two feet. After that earthquake we just experienced, yo, that referee is tough. He must have like metal feet or something. Or gravitational boots, whatever. And now Vincenzo and Victor sizing each other up. Like I said, these two gladiators, these two gods among men, they're not ready to let each other down. Oh! But just like that, Victor! Victor just took out Vincenzo with a shoulder block. Uh oh, wait, wait. Victor! And Vincenzo is feeling the pain! Oh, atomic drop right into the golden, golden statues of Vincenzo! And a coastline! Taking the god down into the cover. Who would like? Dude, we caught our. <laughs> that championship could have remained under Vincenzo's waist. Like I said, don't, I, don't get confused. I will point this out again. If Victor pins Vincenzo, the title stays on the champion. Yeah, you know. You heard me right. Two, three. The head, the cranium of Vincenzo is colliding with the turnbuckle. I'm surprised the ring is not broken at this point. That turbo should be smashed. With the thick skull. Behind Vincenzo. Behind that as well. Behind the fear. Fur fury. Of Victor. <laughs> Look at that. That's how powerful Victor is. He didn't even need to do any sort of hand whiplash movement to control. This guy is. This guy is powerful. This guy is freaking magic. I promise you. Whiplash attack into the kick to the height within that drop kick, if you want to call it that, was just pure fortitude. That's not even trying to be funny. That, that was just amazing. The referee trying to explain to Victor, yeah, yes, Vincenzo did. Hold on, Vincenzo's got that belt, the cursed belt, and he will. He ducks, Victor ducks, and the referee caught him. He caught the god. Did I even say it right? Oh wait! Oh! Oh! 
Evan checks up with a desperate move. Low blowing Victor. Anything goes in this match. There's no holds bar. In order to get rid of that belt that cursed itself, anything goes. Especially for someone like Victor. No, I should actually for someone like Vincenzo. Someone's actually had that belt for the majority of his career. The symbol that has shunned it from the rest of the locker room. Especially with the males. Shoulder turn strike into the turnbuckle. And another one. Just chopping Victor down. Beautiful. The crowd. That was just beautiful right there. And another big shoulder attack right into the gut. Victor can't even breathe at this point. As Vincenzo is trying to make room. Trying to make quick work. Oh! But the referee just got collided under the back by Vincenzo. Oh, he just sees an opening with that. Wait, what the hell is he doing? Wait a minute! <laughs> and the referee! How dare he! He just back buddy from one of the gods! He didn't even know! Shun this referee right now! Fire him! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Victor was going for an airplane spin, but Kokori! Attacks the coastline, refers with a calf kick. Into the hook of the leg. Oh, he was just a second away. A second away from starting with a clean sweep throughout his career. Vincenzo. Looking to end this once and for all. As he soars through the sky like a falcon with a leg drop and he connects. It's over. Oh, he did right now. No, I thought he did it! I thought Vincenzo rid himself that title! And again, Victor! Victor! I don't know if that's Will or just a nightmare flashing through his head. Having to know to go through the entire his career with that belt. I think just flashed to his side and made the shoulder kick out of instinct. Vincenzo knows that. It's not a nightmare for him. This is reality. He wants to end the reality here tonight. And he wants to put it on poor Victor. Kokori sizing up the could be the new champion. Wait a minute! Victor's got him with a sambo! Wait a minute! Vincenzo reversing out of desperation. Oh and again! The referee getting bouldered by one of the contestants. Or gods, I should say. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. It, Vincenzo! Oh. <laughs> Vincenzo! Trying to play rough shot. Wait a minute! They actually worked. And here is the winner through disqualification, Vincenzo Cocotti. Vincenzo just outsmarted him. Vincenzo's won this match. And actually, yeah, he's got rid of the belt. The loser of the championship is so away. But hold on. Hold on, he won't buy disqualification, does that mean Yeah, I think... Oh God, poor Vincenzo. The loserweight title der German Wrestling Federation wechselt allerdings nur bei Aufgabe oder Pinfall. Somit weiterhin GWF Loserweight Champion Vincenzo Cocotti. Vincenzo Cocotti! Won this by disqualification! He has to win with Pinboard's submission! So still, your loser weight champion, the king himself, Vincenzo Cocconi! This is the first time I've seen a champion actually cry when he actually defends his belt successfully.
we go, folks. It is time. It is time for the GSW Ladies Championship. And here comes Portugal's favorite athlete, the number one contender herself, Shanna. She's on right now. This is a pinnacle. This is the moment of truth for her. This match will decide the fate of her career. Yes, she may be filled with confidence right now, but underneath all that, she's filled with butterflies. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you have to be. Not only does she have to compete for a GSW Championship, but she also has to compete and take it from the legendary Westman. That is not a small order. In fact, that is the order if I ever heard of one. But Shana could actually pull us off. The veteran, the legend, the GSW ladies champion, Wesna. Her portfolio, you know, her entire career is filled with so many countless, countless victories, countless accomplishments. The amount of respect she has garnered throughout her entire career is limitless. That is why the fans right now are showing her the utmost of support, the utmost of respect. And I guarantee you, even though these two are fan favorites, you gotta give it a bit to us now when it comes to the situation right now. The fans just can't get it out of her. After what she's given to us, you can bet everything you have right now that Westna is the one that is actually being pinpointed as the champion and is pinpointed as the ultimate favorite against Shauna. You know what? Respect coming from the fans, but also it's coming from Shauna herself. Portugal's favorite athlete knows that the Panther demands respect. Especially if she's the queen, the current queen right now of this division. And that's what it's all about. The GSW Ladies Championship. Two warriors, but only one of them will leave with the crown jewel. And here we go. These two are about to size each other up. Wesna, obviously, with the straight advantage, with the height advantage, Halling with the experience advantage. However, Shana, she has the more agile body. She has the better quickness. And the overall, just better maneuvering throughout the entire ring. Oh, but that's a dumb part on the part of Shanna right now. Trying to go toe to toe when it comes to strength with Westna. Yeah, not, a, not the best type of situations. And now these two embracing the ring as they embrace themselves when it comes to this battleground. And again, Shana, again! Obvious calculation, you don't even need a calculator for that. That was going to be the result, obviously. Strength, you wanna go to have a strength contest when it comes to West? No, no I, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself over again. Not gonna work. Shana, not gonna work. Portal's favorite athlete needs to come up with a different game plan. Do not play her game. Do not play the Panthers game. Again, showing respect between these two is very admirable. But once again, what's important right now is that gold, that ladies championship is up on the grind. Oh, wait a minute, as I told you before, the maneuvering when it comes to Shanna is quite possibly unmatched in the ladies locker room tonight. Oh, uh oh, going back with a rebound and rose and a massive shoulder tackle, knocking down Shanna. And just like that, she's been whiplashed back to reality. He cannot go toe to toe with Wesna and expect to come out victorious. He's just too strong and too experienced for you, Shanna. You still have a game plan. You still have an ace up your sleeve, as I put it to earlier. Your quickness and your agile just like that. Use it. Use it. Duck underneath. Oh, wait a minute! Beautiful card me! Look at that athletic maneuvering by Shanna! Oh, he's just going for hip toss, but she lands her feet and counters with an arm drag! What? 
Give it up for these two. And even West has caught a bit off guard. Look at that. I don't think she was expecting that. She was expecting some offense, but that agility, that level of agility. No, no, man. And just like that, West is the one that's offering the handshake right now. That just shows respect gained on the part of West now to, to Shanna. And I'm just like I said, the crowd is very mixed on who to support. They support both of these two. But again, only one. Only one will leave us the queen. And that's a dumb move. Straight to straight. Oh, look at that. She played her for a full. And just like that, she caught her right between the shins. A baseball slider underneath. She's got, and she's chopping her down. Like Jack and the Beanstalk, baby. And a duck underneath with a baseball drop kick right at her knees. And now the champion is dazed. Rebound. Oh! She sweeps underneath the ropes. And now Shanna with a beautiful Oklahoma roll and she slices the ring. Flips in the ring, I should say. And now Shanna has got West right where she wants her. Corkscrew neck breaker. And we could have a new champion, right? No! Barely a two count. There is much more work needed to be done in order to pin the champion. Shuffle girl, oh, but it's been pounced back by the Panther. I love saying that. Oh, suplex. And West Nuts got shot up right where she was. No, never mind. It looks, I spoke too soon before I spoke too soon. Well, oh, and Shanna goes behind. Clubbers are right in the back of the head. Rebounds through the rope. And my boot. That teeth might have been lost at this point. And that's not me being exaggerated. Hook the leg. Not even a two count. And that's because West now let Shanna take a breather after that massive boot. I assume at least. Shanna's gasping for air. She's gasping for a window of a little breather. But West not being the veteran that she is, I don't think that, you know, I assume she's not gonna let that happen. Yeah, just like I said. Going back into a snapper. Kicking her with a Shanna in her back. into the cover and just like that I don't think she was expecting to get a pin I think the game plan right now is to exert as much energy as possible from Shanna so that when it comes to the final devastating blow oh that's it it'll be the end game pummeling her with the knee would help the game plan a little bit then just a little bit as well going back with a snapmer and clutching her right there in the middle of the ring she's got her right where she wants her this is going to be the ultimate test for Shanna. She either is going to grasp the rope, which is uh, further away from she, there she is, or she's gonna submit, or she's gonna pass out. She needs to find a way. She needs to find a will. Somehow, an opening window to escape from this hole, and she does. Look, right. Shanna uses her legs to grasp the ropes and escape from the devastating hole. And what's not being respectful to the rules of the game, letting go. She's not gonna be there for spell to the point of letting her opponent take a little bit of a little break. No, she is not. The nature of this entire business is to become the champion. That's where all the payoffs come through. And these two competitors, especially Wesna, she knows that. She's the current queen right now. She's smelling all the roses of her hard work. Oh, but freaking Shanna smelling in that leg drop and she pummels her right in the... I was about to say pummeling her in the freaking mat. But I think with that huge strength behind the leg drop, I think she might have pummeled her right to hell. So far, this is not disappointed. This has been a contest between two warriors. I was about to say it was going to be all Westnuts game. Yep, you're right. It is Westnuts game right now. A massive fierce shot behind that arm coastline. And now Wesna setting up what could be an Indian deathlock of some sorts. Or a simple wedge on the leg. Whatever the case is, whatever. Oh! Oh, that I, I heard that. I felt that. And she chops her back right into the middle of the ring. While squealing in and wrenching the leg of Shanna. 
Portugal's favorite athlete is feeling the pain. She's feeling the burn. Yeah. And oh, I smell that burn too. It smells like barbecue in Portugal tonight. Oh, and she shot just like that. A simple shovel kick right in the face will take anyone off their game. They'll take anyone off any submission. That is a guarantee. And May Shot will do that as well. Presented by Wesna. Suplex! And it finally connects. Two! And Wesna is stacked close to reclaiming that gold. The Panther. She's smelling blood. She's smelling that her meal is almost done. And she's about to cobble up the perfect athlete. And she's up in the corner. And she does. Pouncing it like a freaking panther. See what I did there? And I'm looking to end this little charade once and for all. Oh, wait a minute. Shadow trying to pull back. But she's not again. The straight is too much on the part of Westa. Form shot might do the trick though. Might be enough to daze Wesna off her feet. And she does. She finally throws it in the corner. But Wesna retaliates. Once again with a massive boot. Knocking the face. Just friggin' get your take the face of Shadow. Uh oh. Oh boy. Is she going for that driver? Oh, what? Never mind. No, no, no. Snap my reverse! I don't even know how that even could ever be possible, folks! But it happened! All done! Go for it! No way! Spike DDT! And both Shanna and the champion are down! Who will get on their feet first? Who will grasp the title? Who will become the queen? And the crowd is loving it! As much as respect is being thrown around here in this ring right now, as rightfully so. Only one, only one will reclaim the gold. Only one will gain the crown. And now Shanna and Weston back on their feet. And these two, they're in the end game. They're in the final stage of this war. As kicks and forearm shots are being exchanged. Forearm by Shanna. And a kick by Weston. Another one, and a second one, third one, you name it. And I'm following it up. The same goes with the form variation of Shauna. The perfect athlete once again being taken out by the perfect boot of Wesna. Now four arms on the part of the Panther. Hold on. Oh, what a spinning shovel kick right into the chin. I'm in utter shock right now that the Shwesna and Shan have that much left in the tank. Especially Shanna. After going through the punishment that the Panther has dished out on her. Oh, dude. If this is your first time watching, yeah. This is what it's all about. Referee is at five. Hold on. But Shanna, she's got her pit. Oh! Half a second, not even that fraction of a second away from crowning a new champion. And Shanna knows that she smells blood in the water. She's that close. And her dream, her goal, can become reality. Oh, but Wesna, she's not gonna go down that easily. She's going for a driver. No, wait. And she's got her. Skulker! Skulker! One, two. Oh, and a kick out by Wesna. Damn it, man. What a battle. And hold on. She just got her with a catching stutter. Shut up, Scott Wesna! Oh! Barely! Barely moving her shoulders away from the mat. Wesna is still in the game. And that goes without saying, so is Shanna. Uh oh, she's going for a perfect injection, is it? No, 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 she's not. Uh oh. Uh oh, she's going for a driver! Will she finally hit it? No, wait! Skulker! One! Two! Oh, wait! Oh! Not only was Nesna holding the ropes, but she also kicked out. Double insurance. Could this be enough, though? This is causing a reversal. Kick in the gut. Oh, no! Tiger Bomb! And so, no! Shut up! Portugal's favorite athlete! Still, found 
little did deep in her heart to kick out after a massive tiger bomb that would have taken anybody else out. Oh, but this will take a lot. And Death Valley Driver, full force, full impact, wait. I don't freaking believe this. Shut up, kicked out of the Death Valley Driver by Wesna. What will it take to put down the perfect athlete down? Oh no, the champion cannot afford to get frustrated right now. That's what she's doing. She oh no. If she's doing what I think she's about to do. No, it's definitely game over if this happens. If this connects. Setting up on the top corner. Trying to wail down. Shanna, but it's not to be. As Shanna fighting the way with all. Trying to gain consciousness oh, with a head, but I'm not sure if you're gonna gain consciousness. I think I lose a bunch of brain cells, but somehow she's a predicament where she's got the Panther, the Queen, right where she wants her. Foot stop from the tree of woe. This is your time, Shanna. Do it. Perfect injection. Oh, hold on. She's not done. She's going for it. The double. Dragon Suplex! Oh, what? What? Words cannot describe what the hell we're witnessing right now. Dead Valley Driver kick out. Premier Injection not going to work. Shut up! Oh, Dining Cross Body! What's not going to capitalize with one more Death Valley driver? And it's over! What's not? Still! What he is this evening in the Dammit Fighter, German Stampede Wrestling, Ladies Champion, the Croatian Panther, Vesna! What's not? Retains the crown and is still our ladies champion. But what an onslaught, what a complete takeover this battle was. Give it up for the current champion, still retaining the title that she has fought for, deservingly so, while also giving it up for the challenger. Shanna gave it all she had. She did whatever she could to capture the title, but it was not to be, because tonight is the Panthers' night. Tonight, strength and experience toppled over Portable's perfect athlete. Women's Wrestling Revolution Tournament 
And just like earlier tonight, our first contest of the night, Laura Williams came out victorious when she pit Jamie Hayter. And coming out tonight could be the payoff. Because if she wins this last triple threat match, she will go on to become the number one contender for the ladies championship. And in the process, could take over this entire division. She also gotta give it up for her. She not only toppled over Jamie here, but as well as Pauliana. Those two played mind games with both their opponents tonight. And both their opponents actually toppled over them. And they actually took advantage and came out victorious. You gotta give it up, dude. Teilnehmerin Nummer 2. In. Two women, three women, hell, three men, five men, whatever. Nothing can stop the Scarlet Demon known as Sweet Soraya. I point this out before, but the blood trail she has in her career cannot be measured. I, at this point, this may be a triple threat match, but in my eyes, whenever she's in the ring, that ring transforms into a death match. Soraya Knight. I swear, man, my money, with all the respect to Laura and Brookside, this, this one right here, this is your winner. She has the experience, she has the tenacity, she has the viciousness, and quite overall, she has the power. And Teilnehmerin Nummer 3, Contender Number 3. See ya, Brookside. Earlier tonight, pulled off the biggest upset I think I've ever seen. Not only did she topple over Pollyanna, but in the process, she toppled over and became one of the finalists tonight in this triple threat match. And here's where reality kicks in now. Not only does she have to compete with the athletic genius known as Laura Wellings, but she has also have to get in the ring with the demon herself, man. Look at Sweet Soraya. She's eyeing Doxia like a prey, like a freaking lion hunting down a deer. That little sweetheart attitude that she has going on right now, she needs to drop it instantly. But I'm afraid in this situation, you cannot just drop it, man. That, that, that's something you cannot just drop it immediately. That's something you have to let go through experience and through hardships that I believe sweet Soraya is gonna dish out on Xeya as well as Laura. Now these three warriors are sizing each other up for the final match of the night and also the final bout of this entire Women's Wrestling Revolution tournament. Oh man, sorry y'all. And everybody else in this ring right now is looking to get things started in the most massive way and conclude everything with a bang. Because they know, each of these three individuals know that tonight could be the career defining moment for all of them. Just like I pointed out, oh, Saraya is eyeing her down. She's eyeing down Brookside. And a goddamn beast. Oh, no, look at that. And the bullying begins. But Saya, oh, she's not pushed over. Oh, what a slip. And Laura taking a piece of the action as well. Following it up with a massive neck breaker. Oh, just like that. Oh, smart. Well, I wasn't expecting that from Sia. That is smart. I wouldn't call it cowardness. But then again, when you're in the ring with the freaking vicious Soraya, anything goes. 
And in less than a minute, Soraya has made this battleground hers. Tossing Brookside right in the corner. And then she's launches straight in Laura right in the ground from the outside. Damn it, man. This is legit as it can get from Soraya. Oh, but Brookside. Brookside taking it in. She's the very sweet. Let's get the better of her. See what I freaking did there. Oh, now she's tossing Laura right in the corner on the position. Oh, just like that. Soraya gains back composure as viciously scoop sliding here right on the floor outside. And now Wellings, speaking of viciousness, she's just pummeling sweet Soraya and pummeling her face right on the apron. Hardest part of the ring. Oh, she's got her now. And oh, and I, you know, scrap that. They ain't the hardest part of the ring. The ring post is. Oh, look at that. Gothic hair right in their eye. And double X handle right on the back of the nape. And see a Brookside. I still can't believe she actually got her composure, where we're told, after being scoop slammed in the floor by this Scarlet Warrior right here. Oh! The vicious one. Speaking of viciousness, look at that. She's just pulling her from her head, from the freaking ring post attached. Harm and everything. She's got both girls within her grasp. But just like that, Sia escaping the hold. Kicking her right in the gut. Kicking everything she could. And there's only so much you could dish out when you're in the predicament against Sweet Soraya. And oh! DDT! Right on the outside. This isn't even a death match anymore. This is. I don't know what you call it anymore. This is no holds barred. This is the, I can't even call it a match. Matches are usually on the inside of the ring. This battle has been going on at the outside system. Get go. And Laura taking it to Soraya on the outside. Man, I just, I just think she just slammed her head on the ring belt. So much. Oh, wait, 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 oh! And she nails it right on the back of Laura. And now she's got a cup. And now she's just tossing it right in her face. Ultimate disrespect and the ultimate punishment courtesy of Sweet Soraya. And just shoving Gixia right in the chairs where everyone can see the embarrassment and the torment and the overall punishment this demon is willing to push out. And she couldn't care less. She didn't, couldn't care less about her opponents, much less the people that's watching the match. Look at that, she's just fighting on the outside, right in the universe. Doesn't care which star she takes out, as long as she comes out with the Supernovas as the winner. Oh, wait a minute, and Soraya, Soraya did one mistake, and it is, take her eyes off. That's not what she does often. I think that I have rated Soraya. Oh no. Look at her. Now she's on the hunt. She's on the hunt, but so is Laura! And she clutches her and from a sleeper position. Oh! But Soraya, using the wherewithal, just this instinct to know where you're at, to go in reverse and pummel your opponent on the ring post without having eyes in the back of your head, obviously. So far, as hard as it is to put on paper for some, this has all been Soraya's match. This has all been a dominant showcase on the part of Soraya and her vicious, vicious methodical pacing. Look at that! And now she's got Laura in a powerful position. Not quite yet though, as Laura reverses. She's pummeling her back. Oh, where do you go, Sia? And she takes out Soraya for just a moment. But this moment could be enough for Sia to take advantage and drag Laura back in the ring and get the pinfall or submission. But it's not to be. As Soraya. Soraya's gauging up against Sia and she's dragging her back. Oh, no, she again. She's got both warriors right on the grass and double headbutt. Slamming both their craniums, colliding. That's gonna, that's gonna freaking produce that much of a concussion. That I can guarantee. 
Oh, wait a minute. And now it all comes together. These two finally realize what they have to do as they drag her and shoulder turns right into the ring post. Hack first right into the ring post this time. Again, this is what these two need to do right now. They need to work together for just even a, a split second, even a split moment. Oh, just to take out the demon. And I think that might have done the trick. And now Xayah trying to wear and attack Laura while the demon is out. This is the last chance, if not one of the only chances that these two will have to finish the business that they need and actually come out the winner. This could be their chance. What if they would actually become the number one contender when all this is said and done? Hold on. Hold on. She's got the hook. Nope. Nope. Laura reverses and shoves her back right. Oh, wait a minute. The demon is scraping, crawling back in the ring. And she's eyeing down while Laura has got Sia into a DDT right on the apron. And Sia at this point is out of here. Yes, she is. And just to make sure, sweet Soraya pummels her right to the outside. And now, speaking of pummeling, she's got Laura. Wallings down with a... Is it going to be with a hook like DDT? And she does it. Spiking her face first. And it's over! And here is the winner in the Women's Wrestling Revolution Tournament. And with a new number one challenger on the German Stampede Wrestling Ladies Championship from Norwich in England, Sweet Soraya! Sweet Soraya has claimed the ultimate golden ticket to fight for the GSW Ladies Championship. And this demon right now, as I pointed out earlier, could end up being our vicious queen. Oh, Vesna! Where are you? Mama wants to play, bitch. Okay. I tell you something, Vesna. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I got in the ring with you. And I cannot wait. It actually makes me feel really good to think that I'm going to step in the ring with you one more time after you've been dodging me for at least eight years. Well, I'm here. I travel to Germany. I've come to take your crown, you horrible, fat bitch. <laughs> By the time I come back here, Vesna will be no more. Because it's all about Soraya Knight. You know it, and I know it, and soon she will know it. I will see you very soon, princess. I look forward to it with anticipation. And the destined battle is set. Wesna will defend her GSW Ladies Championship against her arch rival, the demon herself, Soraya Knight.